Hey guys, welcome back to The Curly Reader. My name's Amanda, and today I want to share with you my reading plans for the month of June. So I don't normally do monthly TBRs. I do seasonal TBRs, but I am going to make an exception this month because I have some very specific plans in mind for the month of June. Um, specifically, I would like to start reading more of my cover buys. So if you follow my channel, you will have known that last month I did a book haul in which I hauled a bunch of books from Book Outlet and almost all of them were cover buys. I also a lot of times when I'm out doing thrifting or library book sales, that sort of thing, I will pick books up just based on the cover. I don't really have any idea what the book's about. I've never heard of it before. The cover looks interesting. I buy it and then it sits on my shelf unread. So my goal this month is to try to get through some of my cover buys that have been sitting on my shelves. In addition to that, Krista from Books and Jams contacted me and asked if I would be her buddy for a book buddy-a-thon, which is hosted by Elena I think her channel is Elena Reads Books, and I think there's another host as well, but that's the channel that I heard about it from. And so anyway, long story short, Krista and I are going to be book buddies for Book Buddy-a-thon, so I have my TBR for that, so a couple of buddy reads, some read-along books that for read-alongs that I've been doing for months now, and then some cover buys that I am hoping to get to this month. So... Let's get into this. I am going to start with my buddy reads. So I have two buddy reads that I had already scheduled for this month. One I have had on the docket for a long time, and that is Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Corey. Um, this is a sci-fi novel, adult sci-fi novel, which is not really in my wheelhouse, but I'm very, very excited to try this one. Um, it's a chunker. So I'm going to be reading this with Laura from a book circus and we are going to be reading it throughout the entire month and I'm very very excited to get to this but it is definitely going to take some time. So that is my first read or um, buddy read that I have planned and then my other buddy read that I have planned I'm excited for as well and that is because when I bought this book it was a cover buy for me. I had never heard of it before um, and then when um, Danny at Spinelli Speaks was asking on Instagram if anybody wanted to do any buddy reads with her and I said "Ooh, I will I will. Um, we kind of compared our Goodreads TBRs and she said that the you know she had a couple that intersected with mine and this was one of them and so that is Little Bee by Chris Cleave and I honestly don't really know what this is about. I think it's literary fiction um, but I don't know but it was a cover buy for me so I'm excited to add this to my cover buys that are getting read as well as get to read it with Danny. So that is another um, buddy read I'm going to be doing this month. Um, all right, read alongs that I'm participating in. The first of which is my Anne along that I am hosting along with Tia from Tia and all the books. And this month we are reading Anne of Ingleside. Um, this is book number six in the series. And so yeah, I'm excited for this one. This follows, I think, and as a more mature mother, I think she, in this book, she's been married for 15 years and she has five children and just kind of um, her life with that. So that will be a fun read. And then my other read along that I'm doing is with an online book club and we are reading through the Harry Potter series. And so this month we are going to be reading Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Um, so this is the next book in that series. So I will be reading that this month as well. So as you can see already a couple of really big books are on this list and I am nervous. I don't know how many of these I'm going to be able to get through but we're going to try. So anyway and then now moving on to my book buddy-a-thon TBR. So like I said this is a read-a-thon that is hosted by Elena and I think one other person I don't remember now. I will um link both of their channels though down below and the whole premise is to find a buddy and to read together and to really grow your friendship throughout the month um, and so there are different prompts as far as books to read there are five different prompts and then there's other prompts that are not book related so things such as watch a book to movie adaptation with your buddy talk to your bub buddy bubby <laughs> buddy 
every week, I think, is what it is. Um, I think one of the challenges this year is to read to your buddy for part of it. Um, anyway, I will link all of the challenges, like I said, down below, as well as the announcement videos and such. But as far as the books that I'm going to be reading for this readathon, oh, and also I think the readathon goes the entire month of June. Don't quote me on that. But I think that that is the way that they're doing it this month or this year. Um, but anyway, so the five different prompts. The first one is to read a book with your buddy. So do a buddy read. So my other buddy read that I'm doing this month, um, I'm going to be reading A Gentleman in Moscow by Amor Tolls with Krista. Um, Katie at Life Between Words is doing a live, like a Zoom interview with Immortals um, because she just read this book and absolutely adored it and I, it's been on my TBR for a while. I just recently purchased it. It's on my 2020 TBR and so I figured now is the time. So my goal is to get this done before her interview with Immortals so that I can participate in that and have full knowledge of what they're talking about. Um, so I'm excited, excited for this one, but that is the book that Krista and I will be reading together. The next prompt is to read a book that your buddy gave five stars. So I went through Krista's red shelf on Instagram, sorted it by rating and picked a five star read of hers. That I'm going to read. And for this one, I'm cheating just a little bit, but I am going to be reading Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix because <laughs> I really need to try to double up on some of these because it's going to be a heavy reading month for me. So kind of cheating a little bit there, but she gave it five stars, so, and it's a reread for me, but still, um, I'm excited to read it, and yeah. The next prompt is to read a book about friendship. So I don't know if I'm going in order of the way that these are listed. I'm going in the order of the way that they're stacked in front of me. So, um, but to read a book about friendship. And for this, I'm excited. I'm going to be reading Percy Jackson and The Lightning Thief. For Percy Jackson and the Olympians. The Lightning Thief. Um, my daughters and I, we did a book club with just my two daughter, well, my older two daughters. I have a 10 year old and a nine year old and a six year old. The six year old isn't quite at the reading level that the nine and 10 year old are, but they're at very, very similar reading levels. And so last year we started a book club where we would read a book all together and then we'd talk about it. And they got really, really, really into the book series that we started. And they're actually still reading books in that series. And I finally convinced them to start a new series, and we're going to be reading Percy Jackson starting Monday. So June 1st, we're starting Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, or Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the Lightning Thief. This is also a reread for me. I'm super stoked to share this with my kiddos. Um, one of them just got done doing like a little project on some of the Greek gods, and so that's why I kind of was able to convince her that this might be a fun one. And I'm really, really hoping that they love these just as much as they love the Warrior Cats series by Erin Hunter, which is the last series that we read. I will link the video of um, our kind of discussion about that down below. But this is the next one we'll be reading for that. And this features a group of friends and has to do with friendship. And so I figured this would fit that prompt well enough. The next prompt is to have your buddy pick a book for you. And so I sent a picture, I'll see if I can maybe post the picture somewhere around here, but I sent a picture to Krista of a bunch of my cover buys, because like I said, I really want to read as many of my cover buys as I can this month. So I sent her a picture of eight different cover buys that I had purchased, and she responded back and she said, I've never heard of any of these. And I'm like, yeah, me either. But she picked one based on the cover. So I thought that that was kind of fun. And she chose for me Everything Else in the Universe by Tracy Holzer. And this is about a little girl whose dad is deployed to Vietnam. And when he comes back, he is an amputee. And she doesn't really understand how to, you know, how to deal with that. Um, he also suffers from um, PTSD. And so this is kind of about her journey with that. It is a middle grade book, I believe. Um, but this is the book that Krista chose for me to read. So this is the book I will be reading for that. And then the last prompt is to read a book with your buddy's favorite color on the cover. And so Krista said that her favorite color was teal. And so for this one, I chose a book that has been sitting on my TBR for 
or on my physical TBR for quite a few years. Um, this is actually a book that I bought brand new. I walked into Barnes and Noble and I was like, ooh, I like it, I must have it. And so I bought it. Um, and that is The Mermaid by Christina Henry and it has quite a bit of teal and stuff on it. And this, this came out right around the time of The Greatest Showman and I think that's why it got me because on the back immediately, my eyes just went to P.T. Barnum. Um, and I think this has to do with something about the circus and um, the mermaid in the circus, um, something along those lines. But I've been wanting to read this. It's a different, very different shape for a book as well. Like in comparison to say, Gentleman in Moscow, it's just a very different shape. And I think that that's kind of fun. Um, and I love the cover, obviously, that's why I bought it. Um, I'm hoping that this is a good one. So that is what I will read for that prompt. So those are all the books that I am going to be prioritizing this month. And then I have a little stack here that if I have time, I will choose from these books to fill up the rest of the month of reading for me. So I'm hoping I can get through these. These are number one on my list. But if I do end up getting through these and I still have time on my hands, this is what I will select from. So all of these are cover buys, um, the first of which is Before We Were Free by Julia Alvarez. This is a really tiny little um, middle grade book that is about the dictator um, Trujillo in the Dominican Republic in the 1960s. And it's about a girl whose family gets caught up in that. But I've never read anything about that time frame. And so I thought that this would be a really short, f not fun, um, interesting um, thought-provoking read. Um, the next one on this is one that I picked up at the library as a like cover by or whatever at the library and then started reading it, read maybe the first five or six chapters, realized I wanted to own it so I could annotate it as I was reading it. So I returned it to the library, bought it, and have yet to pick it up again. And that is Wolf Hollow by Lauren Woke. Um, I love this cover so, so, so much. It's a Newbery Honor book. I want to read this so bad, and I just have not gotten around to it yet. Sorry, look at all that glare. This is all glittery, or not glittery, but um, what do you call it? Foiled. Um, but anyway, this is about a girl that lives, I think it's in Pennsylvania, yeah. And it's set between World War One and World War Two, and there is a World War One vet that lives in town, and he's reclusive, and a bully moves into town and starts really abusing this man. And so it's about this little girl who starts sticking up for what she believes in and standing up to the bully, and I really, really, really want to read that. Um, another middle grade that I threw on this list is Echo's Sister by Paul Mosier. And this is about a girl whose sister gets diagnosed with a terminal illness. They move to a new school. She's getting ready to start at this new school, has all these plans for how her, you know, this first year at this new school is going to go, and then finds out her sister is terminally ill. And so it's just about them, um, and that's all I really know. Um, so that's one that I have re I had recently gotten from Book Outlet that sounded interesting. Another one that I have had for years that I got at a thrift store randomly, just picked it up, is The Alphabet Sisters by Monica McInerney. And this is about these three sisters that live in Australia, Anna, Bet, and Quinn, or Carrie. Anna, Bet, and Carrie. And they were childhood singing stars. And then as adults, they don't talk because one of the sister's fiance left her for another one of the sisters. And so they never talk. And then their grandmother decides that she's turning 80. She's going to get all the girls back together again. And that kind of goes from there. Um, and then I have Never Ever by Sarah Sadi. Sadi, I think is how you pronounce her name. Um, this is a Peter Pan retelling. And it's YA. And it's about a girl, Wiley. Yeah, and her and her brother sneak out to an apartment, um, like on a rooftop, and she meets a guy, and by the end of the night, she's flying off to this magical island where nobody ages past 17, but then there's, like, secrets involved, and things aren't really quite what they seem. Um, so, yeah, that might be one that I pick up if I'm in the mood for some YA. And then the last one on this list, and I honestly don't remember if this is YA or adult, um, and that is Spare and Found Parts by Sarah Maria Griffin. This is another one that I just picked up from Book Outlet. 
um, in a very, very recent haul, but it really just sounds fascinating to me. And it is about a girl whose dad invented there. I don't know if it was like a virus. Yeah, it was a virus and her dad invented biomechanical limbs that basically saved humanity. And so she is very kind of um, kept away from people. She's never really been in contact with a lot of people. And so she decides she's going to create her perfect person from all of these limbs and like spare parts and from her father's work. So anyway, it just sounded very um, Lunar Chronicles kind of to me. It reminded me of that. And so we'll see. This one sounded interesting and that cover I just absolutely love. So that's it. That's all I got. Um, a few, I won't, I definitely won't get to all of these, but these are just kind of what I'm going to be picking from. Some of them I definitely will get to. They are very, very high priority for me. Um, but yeah, if you are participating in Book buddy -a I would love to know some of the books that you're planning on reading for it, um, and who your buddy is and all of that fun stuff. And if you're still reading through Anne of Green Gables with us, I would love to hear that as well. And yeah, if you've read any of these cover buys that I don't really know much about, I would love to hear if you like them or not. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you stick around and subscribe. And until next time, see ya.